Hello there and welcome to this video which is going to focus on what the definition of an ion is. Now you should already be familiar with what an ionic bond is, how the charges form and how to draw the actual bonding going on in an ionic bond. But what you may not be familiar with is what the actual definition of an ion is. And that's what we're going to go through now. So you should remember that all atoms can gain or lose electrons to get a full outer shell. And when that happens you actually get an ion. So the definition of an ion is an atom that has already gained or lost electrons and has become a charged particle, or positively or negatively charged, depending on which way you want to write it. So you've got your negative ion, which as we've said is your anion, and your positive ion, your positive ion, which is your cation. Okay, let's have a look at a question then. So this says sodium and chlorine react to form sodium chloride. When they react, they form ions. Describe what an ion is and identify the names of the two types of ions, stating which is which. So in this case, you'll get two marks for the definition of what an ion is, and one mark for which one sodium is, and one mark for which one chlorine is. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. So, we'll start off with the description of what an ion is. Nice and simply, an atom that's lost or gained electrons to get a full outer shell. So there's your first mark, and then your second one for saying positively or negatively charged. If you had said a charged particle, you might get the second mark there as well. And then onto which is which, sodium is your metal, therefore it's a cation, because they're positive. And then the other one's got to be your anion, which is a negative ion, and that's chlorine. So one mark for each of those, which should give you four out of four. Hopefully that's made you a bit more confident on this, and if so, have a look at the review question, which is, describe the type of bonding going on in aluminium chloride. There's a big clue, seeing as this topic is ionic bonding and then state the names of each ion and define the term ion in your answer. So very similar to what we've just been through. That ends this video.